hey everybody this is liz welcome in if you are here for the first time and if you're not thanks for coming back and uh checking me out so this is gonna be hopefully a little bit of a quick video today on how to make tickets when you don't have either a ticket die or know how to make them. So I made these up this weekend um, while my husband and I were um, at our cabin in the woods and um, I needed something quick to do. Um, these actually, I didn't even have a scoreboard or anything for today. I'm gonna use a scoreboard, but I will show you also if you don't have a scoreboard how to do this. Um, like I said, I did not have my scoreboard this weekend and I was able to kind of whip these out in no time. Um, they're super simple um, and I think they came out pretty cute. So I am going to show you how to make these and uh, maybe we'll do a little decorating. I am kind of having a rough day with my um, voice because I am still nursing a little bit of bronchitis. So we will see what I can get through and um, yeah, hopefully I can, like I said, get through this video without coughing too much. So these actually are little um, tickets. Um, I have a membership in the Digital Collage Club and if you don't know what that is, it is a um, basically a subscription service that you get um, digitals in and she's got tons and tons of uh, digitals, like probably a thousand or more digitals in there. Um, real cute stuff. So um, yeah, so like I said, I have a membership. I think it's $9.95 a month. Um, I will say that sometimes, or I will say that some of them are on A4 size paper. So you do just have to size it down to eight and a half by 11 if you are, um, working with Imperial and, um, in the States. So, um, yeah. Uh, so let's get to it. So I am going to pull this stuff aside so I can get my scoreboard in here. Um, these are just some more digitals that I may work with. I'm not sure. So let's put those off to the side and I have a super huge scoreboard, um, so I don't even know. You can see it. I'm trying to make sure I'm in frame because I did a video this week where I was not in frame. But anyway, I have a super huge scoreboard. I think it is 12 by 12. Yeah, it's 12 and a half by 12 and a half. So, um, but basically what I do is I take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and I am going to score it every two inches. I think that that's a great um, size for your ticket. So you're just going to go ahead and score all the way down every two inches. Um, so let's see, two, four, six, and get a little bit of a good crease in there. Eight, and then um, you're going to have obviously a little leftover because it's eight and a half by 11. So you're going to have one and you don't really have to crease it at 10. I do just so I know where to cut. Um, so yeah, so then you have, I don't know if you can see the creases. Anyway, I have two, four, six, eight and creased it at 10. Um, so let's move that aside. Um, and grab my, uh, sorry about that. I gotta step aside for a second and grab my cutter. Should have had that out. Um, everything's right at arm's reach in my desk though. Oh my. And I am just realizing I am working in the dark. So hopefully you can see this. Um, so let me move some other stuff aside and, um, we're going to cut on that 10 inch line and I am just going to honestly line it up with the line on my paper. So hopefully you can see that I'm going to cut that one. I'm going to cut that. So there you go. I'm going to cut that off. So now we are working with a eight and a half by 10. So I am going to cut it 
every, I think I decided one and a half inches. Yeah, I decided one and a half inches was a good height. So I'm gonna cut it every one and a half inches. Um, so you just, you just follow it down every one and a half. Um, line it up, if I can line it up correctly today. So, yeah, so I hope your day is going well. I know Mr. Leonidas the cat is right under my feet. He's so funny. He pretends he doesn't like me, but in reality, he sits with me every day and does his thing in my crafting cave here, uh, my crafting office. Um, he, uh, he pretends... He pretends not to like me, but I know he does. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just because I feed him. Maybe it's just because I feed him and give him snacks all day that he likes me. So let's see, I think we got one more cut here and then the bottom will have little tickets. So you get, let's see, and then the bottom will be just a smaller, just little tickets. So basically you get, um, Let's see, you got one, two, three, four, five. So you get five, six pieces out of it. And then um, and then all you have to do is obviously fold it back and forth on the um, back and forth on the folds and you have your tickets. Now I will show you a little bit of a trick. If you don't have, I'm going to show you two ways. So if you do not have a hole punch, um, let me get my hole punch out. So I will show you with and without a hole punch. If I can find my hole punch, here we go. So you're going to take, if you have a single hole punch, you're going to take your single hole punch. And if you can do it, you're just going to snip the corners. Let's see if I can do it. Oh man. There we go. <laughs> so you might have to snip a little bit less of the corners, but um, anyway, like I said, you're going to snip a little bit of the corners off. Let's see. It's pretty hard. So um, like I said, if you figure out a better way to do this, then by all means do it. I also have pretty weak hands because I have arthritis in my hands. So um, like I said, I have pretty weak hands. All right, so there there it is with the hole punch. So you get your ticket shape. So um, yeah, so I think that that looks pretty good. And then if you do not have a hole punch, which is so much easier, you fold it obviously on your score lines. So back and forth on your score lines. And, um, and then super duper easy. Um, you just snip with scissors, which, like I said, is much more easy. And depending on how big you want your, um, let's see if I'm still in frame here because I'm notorious for not being in frame. So, like I said, you can go deep, you can go short. Um, I like to go a little bit deep with them. So, I'm actually going to cut off a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to cut a little bit more of a snip off here, just a smidge, um, get it a little bit deeper. And then there, that is what they look like without a hole punch. This is what they look like with the hole punch. So like I said, it just depends on what you like and what you have available to you, um, what you like. And, um, that is how you do your tickets and then you can decorate them um, any way you like. Um, like I said, I am gonna show you these because I am kind of struggling to breathe here. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to decorate one with you, but I'm gonna show you this is, um, I just decorate decorated them for Halloween. And like I said, these are, that's my little, um, 
Dymo, um, plastic, you know, squeezy, this thing. Um, I love this thing. So this is the old fashioned label maker. Um, this one is a little bit tricky to use, but so much fun and you get so much, um, such a fun feel out of it. And then these, um, I will try to link it below, but if not, I will, um, name the shop in here, um, for these, uh, digitals so these digitals and then this i believe um the bat paper and the candy corn paper are from cartabella's um halloween release a couple of years ago i had some leftovers but honestly i make these these are my halloween scraps and i honestly just sat there this weekend with a bunch of scraps and a bunch of digitals and made these up so yeah, that is it. Oh, I was going to show you one more time without the scoreboard, wasn't I? So let me show you if I can get through it. Let me show you without the scoreboard. So you're going to take um, your, uh, you're going to take your, um, oh my goodness, your cutter. And you're going to cut at one and a half. So let's do one more at one and a half. And then, um, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said, I'm trying to get through this video. Um, anyway, you're going to take this at one and a half. You're going to get a ruler out um, and you're going to mark. So you're going to mark every two inches. Um, make sure it's straight. So mark every two inches. So two, four, six, eight, and 10. So you're going to cut. I don't even make a line. I eyeball it. I'm going to cut at the 10 inch mark. And then honestly, this is probably the quickest and easiest way. But like I said, this weekend I did not have, and then you're just going to fold at that two inch mark. Try to get it as straight as possible. But even if it's not straight, you can, um, even if it's not straight, you can fix it later. And honestly, like I said, um, and then you're going to fold on that line if you can do it. So it's just a little bit more work, but you're going to fold up to that line. And then you're going to fold down on that line. And then see, it's a little bit off, but you can always fix it. Give it a little crease, and if you have a bone folder, you can use your bone folder. But like I said, this weekend, I did not have anything. And then you're going to fold. You can fold this way, which is easier. Um, folding this way, and it's not quite on the line, but it's close enough. You're going to fold that way, and there you have it. Your tickets. And like I said, easiest way is to just snip the corners and be done with it instead of um instead of using your um instead of using your uh, hole punch because obviously you saw me struggle with the hole punch and like i said i struggled with the hole punch just because i have arthritis in my hands but i think this looks good too so that's how you do it without a scoreboard and without oh and I missed this corner so if you miss a corner you just snip it snip it um, but anyway that's how you do it without without a um, scoreboard so I hope you like this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you have a comment if you know an easier way to do it but I think that's pretty easy and it's pretty straightforward and <coughs> excuse me, uh, pretty straightforward. And I'm going to go before I start coughing on everybody. So have a great day, everybody. And I'll see you in my next video.